You know, most custom firmware seems to work on the idea that the more files you need to download, the better it must be. Sometimes you just want things to be simple. And if you're looking for the easiest possible way to get custom firmware running on your Battle XP G350, then Pan4 Elec is exactly what you need. This is firmware installation at its most straightforward. There's no complicated extra files, there's no fiddly configuration steps, you just flash it and you're gaming. Whether you're completely new to custom firmware or you just want something that works straight out of the box, this video will get you sorted in no time. The beauty of pan 4 Elec is that it does all of the heavy lifting for you. Everything you need is already baked into the image, so there's no hunting around for extra files or worrying about compatibility issues. It's plug and play in the truest sense. I'm going to show you how to get it flashed onto your card, how to load up your games and how to set up a second SD card if that's what you're after. And honestly, the whole process is so simple that you'll probably be gaming within half an hour of starting. And most of that is going to be copying your game files over if you don't have too many game files in the first place. You'll need a few things before we begin. And as always, you'll find links to everything in the description below. First up, 7-zip. That's just for extracting the firmware once you've downloaded it. Next is Rufus, which we'll be using to flash the image onto your SD card. And of course, you'll want your BIOS and ROM files ready to go. Now, I can't tell you where to get BIOS and ROM files, but a quick Google search for the systems that you want to play might point you in the right direction. Make sure you've got 7-zip and Rufus installed, and I'll see you after this. Right, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is head over to the Pan4 Elec GitHub page. There's a link in the description. And you should see a banner that says G350 on it. Clicking on that will start the download process for the latest release of what we need. And once it's downloaded, you'll have a compressed file that we're going to need to extract. All you do is right click on that, find the 7-zip folder in the menu that comes up and choose Extract Here. And that's going to give you an image file right on your desk desktop straight for flashing. Now, insert your SD card and open up Rufus. Make sure your SD card is the one showing in the top box and double check that it's the right one because you don't want to accidentally wipe anything important. Click Select and choose the image file that you've just extracted and then hit Start. Rufus will do its thing and flash pan 4 elec onto your SD card. Once that's finished, take the SD card out and put it straight into your G350 in slot 1. That's the slot to the left of the screen. Power on the device and just wait. pan 4 elec is going to boot up and do its initial setup automatically. There's no complicated installation process here. It just works. And once it's finished booting, you'll see the emulation station interface. And at this point, you want to shut down the device by pressing the start button and going to quit and then choosing to power off. Take the SD card back out, put it into your computer, and you should now see that it's created a new partition called Games. Open that up and you should see all of the folders that you need. Simply drop your BIOS files into the BIOS folder and then your ROMs files into the appropriate folders in the ROMs directory. Once that's done copying, put the card back into, into the device and turn it on. Your game should populate automatically. And then you're ready to go. And if you're happy with a single card setup, then that is literally it. You are done. But if you want to use a second SD card for your games, here's how to set that up. You put your second SD card into slot two with the device off and then turn the device on. Let it boot up completely. Shut it down again. Take out the second SD card, put it into your computer. Pan4 Elec will have automatically created all of the folders that you need on this card, just like before. You copy your BIOS and your ROM files into the right folders, put the card back into slot 2 on the device, and then your games will appear when it boots up. And that really is it. Pan4 Elec is designed to be this simple. There's no complex configuration, there's no extra files to hunt down, no settings to tweak. It just works straight out of the box, giving you a solid, stable gaming experience with minimal fuss. Now, if you're the kind of person who likes to tinker and customize every setting under the sun, you might find Pan4 Elec a little bit too straightforward for your liking. But if you just want to get gaming without the faff, this is absolutely perfect. Sometimes the best solution really is the simplest one. 
And that's it. Your G350 is now running Pan4 Elec and ready for some serious retro gaming. And as you can see, this really is firmware installation made simple. You just flash, boot, and play. And if this has helped you out at all, please give this a thumbs up and let me know in the comments how you get on. Thanks ever so much for watching, and happy gaming. Mm -hmm.